So you want to record or stream high quality footage using a two PC setup. Well, you've come to the right place. What's up everyone, welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. And today we're gonna dive further into my two PC gaming and streaming setup because after I uploaded my full video on how to make a two PC setup work, I received tons of awesome questions from all of you guys asking for further explanation on how I actually make the video capture portion of the setup work. So with that said, I'll be showing you how I connect everything uh, video capture related in my setup and get it to work so that when you're ready to record or stream, you'll be able to just hop into OBS and just press a button and begin creating high quality content. And we'll hop right into it right after a word from our sponsor. Stop overpaying for Windows 10 and 11 activation keys. <laughs> With VIP URCD key, you can install and activate Windows for only 16 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It's fast, easy, and 100% legit. To get started, head over to VIPURCDKey.com and search for the software that you're looking for and add it to your cart. If you're installing Windows, be sure that the key you purchase is the same as what is installed on your system. Once your product is in the cart, you can now enter my new promo code for 2023, RAV25, which will now save you 25% on your purchase. From here, you just need to follow the prompts and purchase your key with your preferred payment method. I personally always choose PayPal. Once your payment is done, navigate to your user center and click on My I purchased orders. This is where you'll find your activation code once your payment is processed. From here, it's as easy as copying your key from the user center and pasting it into the Windows activation page on your desktop. You'll now have a fully activated version of Windows 10 that is also upgradable to a Windows 11 if you want. So check out the links below and save yourself some money. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, capturing video with a two PC setup. Now, you might think this is super complicated, but really, it's just a matter of having the right gear and having the right settings on your streaming or recording system. System, as well as your gaming system. So let's start with the gear that I personally use. To capture video in my setup, I use the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II capture card. Now to get this to work, you can actually use pretty much any capture card you want, even those external ones, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna stick to what's in my system because I know how to explain it because I own it. The reason I use this particular capture card is because of its ability to capture up to a 4K 60 FPS image. Now, this is the first really important piece of the puzzle for you out there. You need to ask yourself, what resolution and frame rate do I want to capture? I personally game at 1440p and my monitor goes up to 144 hertz, so I needed a capture card that has the ability to capture those requirements. And the 4K60 Pro Mark II captures that perfectly. So let me show you how I make this work between my two PCs. The first thing you need to do is install your capture device. So whether you're using an external or internal capture card, it really doesn't matter. Now, the way I do this is I have it installed into my streaming PC because this will allow me to capture the signal from my gaming PC and send it back to my streaming PC and then from my streaming PC into OBS or the streaming or recording software. All it takes to make this work with the 4K60 Pro Mark II is the HDMI cable that it comes packaged with. So you first need to plug the HDMI into an available port on the gaming PC's graphics card, then run that over to your streaming PC and plug it into the in on the Elgato 4K60 Pro. And as far as the hardware side of things goes, that's it. From here, we need to configure everything in both of our PCs. So let's get started with the gaming PC because this is the PC that you'll be capturing your footage of. Just to start this off real quick, the monitor that I use to play my games is a BenQ 34 inch ultra wide. I actually use this monitor for both of my PCs and I switch between outputs with a remote that came with the monitor and I switch my peripherals between them with a little keyboard and mouse switch. Now, if you're actually curious about that and how I make that work, I did a whole other video on this. So if you guys wanna see that, go ahead and click up here. Anyway, all I have connected between my gaming PC and my main monitor is a single DisplayPort cable so I can see my gaming PC's output while I'm recording or streaming or just, you know, gaming, whatever I'm doing. On your gaming PC, you want to make sure that your resolution is set to the resolution that you want to record or stream at. Now you can always do some upscaling or downscaling if you want, but the main thing to be aware of here is if you're on an ultra wide like me, uh, your screen's aspect ratio will be 16 by 10. And in your software, you'll see some black bars on the top and the bottom because 
pretty much all the streaming platforms use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's just not going to work right. To put this in more simple terms, if you want to stream or record in say like 1080p, make sure that your monitor is also set to 1080p or at least another 16 by 9 aspect ratio like 1440p or 4k, and then you can always downscale in your software if you want to. In my personal setup, I have my monitor set to 1440p, 144Hz, again, because it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and this will just make it easier to capture an OBS with no black bars. I know, it seems weird to have an ultra-wide and not even use it to play games when I'm streaming, but the vast majority of viewers out there will be watching in 16 by 9 on their device, so it just makes more sense to give them a better viewing experience, at least in my opinion. Now that we have our resolution set, the next thing we need to do is actually clone our capture card with the monitor that we're going to be gaming on. So I'm gonna hop over to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. Okay guys, so the next thing we need to do on our gaming PC is actually clone our main display that we're gonna be gaming on here. For me, it's my main ultra wide monitor that I play with with our capture card, the Elgato that I'm using. So as you can see right here, it brings up both the Elgato and the BenQ because those are both uh, outputs that are connected to my gaming PC. And from in here on set up multiple displays inside the Nvidia control panel, uh, you just need to go down to this number two box right here. And you can see I already have this set up. This is what it'll look like once you do it. Um, but I'll just go ahead and extend them so you can see. It'll look like this for you guys probably right off the bat. Uh, you can see both are represented here, two being the, uh, the 4K60 and then number one being uh, my BenQ monitor. So all you got to do is right click your main monitor and then go clone with number two. And that's it. So that should give you that uh, video signal that'll send over to your streaming PC and uh, into OBS or whatever software you're using. And then we'll talk about that more once we get into the software part. Also guys, one thing you might want to take note of is if you're running an ultra wide like me, but then you're also trying to uh, clone this and stream at a 16 by nine resolution, uh, like I said before, uh, you might need to do this as well. So that way your desktop and other things don't get all stretched. Um, so what you do here is you make sure that you go to this and you have your main display here selected. Uh, and what I found that works is either using aspect ratio or integer scaling, and it has to perform the scaling on the GPU uh, with that box right there. So you'll see right now I'm running 2560 by 1440 at 144 hertz. Um, and you can see it, it displays my native resolution. And in this little box right here, you can see that it will have black bars on the side, but that is because it is scaling from that 16 by 10 resolution to 16 by nine. And now when you don't have this done, what it will do is try to fill up this entire box right here and your entire desktop looks stretched and really weird. It doesn't like, it doesn't look right. So this is the way I found to combat this in case you guys are have the same situation as me. Now, if you guys are using an AMD graphics card, don't worry. This process is actually even more simple because in the adrenaline software, there's a little option in the display tab called enable clone. And all you have to do is click this and make sure that it clones with your main monitor, you know, monitor number one typically. And you should have the same result that I just mentioned with my Nvidia graphics card. All right. So now that you have a better understanding of how to plug in all the hardware, adjust your resolution settings of your gaming PC that you're capturing, and now cloning your capture card, let's talk about how to actually capture what's happening on your gaming PC using our streaming software. So again, let's hop back to the computer and I'll show you what you gotta do. All right guys, so the next thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click on settings right here and it will bring up this window you guys see right here. So what I want you to go down to is video. And in video, I want you guys to take a look at your base and output resolution right here. So remember how I told you guys to make sure on your gaming PC that it is set to the resolution that you want to game or record at. And that is because you want it to match these right here. So like I said, mine is set to 1440p because that's what I game and I stream at. So I make sure that these right here match that completely so there's no weird scaling that has to take place. Uh, it's the easiest way to do it. So say you wanted a game and stream at 1080p, just make sure your canvas and your output are both set to 1920 by 1080 and you're good to go. Um, and then down here uh, at your common FPS values, just make sure that's 60 so that way it looks nice and smooth. And then once you got that set, go ahead and click Okay. All right, next I'm gonna show you guys how to add your capture card as a source in OBS. So down here in your sources pane, you guys should all have this. Go ahead and click the plus arrow right here. And then I want you guys to go ahead and click the video capture device right there. And you should get this little window that pops up. Sorry, it's a little weird right there, but I'll try to zoom in for you guys. Uh, you guys are gonna go ahead and create a new one and name it whatever you want. 
I named mine Elgato 4K60, so I'm just gonna select this one. It's the same thing as what you guys are gonna do. I'm gonna click that and click OK. Now, I know you guys can't see right now because that's in the way. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna just turn that off. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the properties pane. You guys should be seeing this when you guys uh, first open up your video capture device. You guys should be seeing this little window right here. Uh, you guys can see the preview of it right there. It's already showing my desktop of my gaming PC. And uh, what you're gonna look for is this device pane right here. And just make sure that you have your capture card selected. So see, you can see right here, game capture, 4K 60 Pro Mark II. That is my capture card. I'm gonna click that and uh, it's already previewed right there. As you click it, it should pop up and show it to you guys and then click okay. And once you guys click okay, you guys should see this right here. You guys should see it pop up right there uh, so you guys can actually use it. You guys can uh, put it into your, uh, your OBS and into your uh, canvas right there and do whatever you guys want with it uh, for recording, streaming, whatever you guys want to do. Okay guys, after that's done, the last thing you may just want to check on uh, before you start recording or streaming is this window right here. Go ahead and click settings one more time. Let me go ahead and get this put up right there. Uh, and then we're going to go down to outputs. And so from here, you basically want to go ahead and put in your streaming and recording settings that you want. So you can go ahead and do things like uh, edit your bit rate that you stream at, um, encoder if you're using NVENC like me, I use the NVENC encoder on uh, my uh, NVIDIA GPU. And then uh, basically I use the best quality right there because I want the high quality, like highest quality video I could possibly get. And then for recordings, you basically can put wherever you want your recordings to go, uh, how 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 much quality you want your file sizes to be, the recording format, all that stuff. Again, your hardware encoder, all that, uh, to make sure that uh, you have everything set before you start streaming or recording. And once you got that set right there, you're pretty much ready to go ahead and go down here, select stream or record, and you're good to go. Now guys, if you're at this point and you're not getting a video signal or something is not working right, please just go back in my previous steps in the video and check that all of your connections are correct and that you have cloned your capture device properly. Nine times out of 10, those are the culprit of you not getting a video signal inside of your software. All right, everyone, hopefully that fully explained how I capture the video signal from my gaming PC, send it over to my streaming PC, and record or broadcast it with OBS out to you guys. Now, if there's anything you think that I missed in the video again, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer you. But if this was exactly what you were looking for, then please hit that like button and consider getting subscribed with those notifications on for more streaming tips like this because in the next video, we're gonna be tackling audio. We're gonna dive deep into it. I'm gonna show you how that works. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.